Penicillin is a group of antibiotics derived from penicillin and fungi. This discovery was an accident found by Alexander Fleming in 1928. Although there were many people that helped with discovering penicillin, Alexander Fleming is credited with first discovering the fungi. The discovery of penicillin served as a turning point in history because it changed people's perspectives about the field of medicine, revolutionized the ability to treat bacterial infections, and saved millions of plant and animal lives. In St. Mary's Hospital, London, England, Fleming was researching the properties of the group of bacteria known as staphylococci. One of his problems was the constant contamination of airborne molds to petri dishes. He had left out a sample in a petri dish, and as messy as the scientist was, the sample developed mold. But to Fleming's surprise, there was one spot on the plate that was not covered by mold. The mold was surrounding it as if it didn't want to get near the area. Fleming tried extracting the center fungi, which he later found was nearly impossible to purify, concluding that the fungi had killed whatever bacteria that had grown around it. It was identified as Penicillium notatum. Alexander Fleming recalls that Penicillium notatum had a unique shape in anatomy. His finding was published, yet had not received much attention. He further researched his discovery. At first, no one had believed that such a thing would exist. No one paid attention to Fleming, nor shared the same excitement or fascination as him. Ernst Bohr's chain and Sir Howard Walter Florey helped to further research and develop penicillin into mass production. Penicillin was often called the first miracle drug because it controls many bacterial infections and has fought killer diseases. People had never seen medicine before that was able to cure something so deadly. It was a wondrous feeling that they were now protected against something dangerous. People really did realize then that science could save their lives. Before the 1940s, a small, infected cut on the side of a person's face could lead to a swift death. Today, that person would be prescribed antibiotics. It was a miracle drug. It cured so many diseases that had caused so much pain and suffering. Strep throat, rheumatic fever, scarlet fever, syphilis, and gonorrhea. It was things that we wouldn't even think about today should kill you. Penicillin treats numerous infections and diseases, such as meningitis, childbed fever, pneumonia, and many more diseases and infections. There was a decline of death from these diseases after penicillin began to be mass-produced, slowing the mortality rate of this time period from 100% to 40% in a test with 91 people with a streptococcus infection. This proves that penicillin could majorly reduce death. Penicillin was thought to be the miracle drug of the war. It was saving many lives, and luckily, we were fortunate enough to have penicillin developed enough to be given to soldiers that were in need of help because they were injured and were also sick because of an open wound that infection has taken over. Soldiers in World War II faced a greater risk of dying from infection rather than combat before penicillin was developed. It also may have been the indirect reason of the success of the Allies' victory in World War II. When the soldiers went off to war, there weren't enough resources, supplies, and most importantly, medicine to guarantee a healthy soldier is not going to die during this war because of wounds that are infected. Penicillin given to wounded soldiers helped them get back on their feet and lead our country to victory. This would not have happened otherwise if it had not been for penicillin. Penicillin has saved an estimated 200 million lives. It has even been proven to help animals survive too. As an experiment, eight sick mice with a streptococcus infection were tested to see if penicillin had the same effect on animals as it did on humans. A dosage of penicillin was injected into four of the mice, and nothing was given to the other four. The four mice that were not given anything had died within a day 
while the mice given the dosage had resisted the bacteria. This proves that not only can penicillin be a cure for humans, but one for animals too. There have been many technological advances made from researching and experimenting with this wonder drug that science has found a cure for numerous diseases that were deadly. Without penicillin, countless lives would have been lost, and now, with our new knowledge gained from this discovery, we can uncover even more future ways to save lives and help fight off dangerous diseases. If it had not been for Alexander Fleming's accident, many of us wouldn't be here today. There's no doubt that a thank you should be owed to Sir Alexander Fleming for this great and wonderful discovery, allowing us to make new scientific and technological advances and learn more in general about what we can accomplish with this simple, yet so complex, bacteria-killing, life-saving drug. People could often die from a sore throat if the infection spread to the lungs. And pneumonia and post-operative infections killed one in three who got them. Within a decade, that figure had dropped to just a few percent. The reason? Penicillin.